Hi, my name is Andy Deitmeyer, chef for Mercy Medical Center. And I'm Terry Clark, one of the dietitians. And today we're going to be preparing fresh guacamole. So guacamole, as you know, the basis of, of that dish would be avocados. And avocados are a great healthy fruit. They have over 20 essential nutrients. Great source of fiber. It's also a good source of potassium, vitamin E, and it's also got some B vitamins and folic acid. Avocados are a fruit, but it's a high fat fruit. The fat in the avocados, though, are a healthy fat. They're monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fat. Now, the fat in one avocado is close to 15 grams, and a serving size is about a fifth, one fifth of an avocado, which would give you about three and a half grams of fat. Now again, this is a healthy fat, so when eaten in moderation, healthy fats can help to lower your cholesterol. Uh, avocados, uh, of course, we're making guacamole today, but you can also put these in salads, you can use them as a garnish on soup, you can put them, um, spread it on a toast, or you can even put them in a sandwich, slice them in a sandwich. So there's a lot of great uses for avocado that you can have in a healthy diet each and every day. Okay, to make some guacamole, uh, it's extremely simple, quick preparation time, um, so you'll never have an excuse to buy guacamole ever again. And once you have some, some fresh homemade guacamole, you'll never want to buy uh, prepared guacamole in the store ever again. The preparation is very simple. Uh, the way to get into an avocado is very simple. Uh, on your cutting board, just work your knife around. There's a big pit in an avocado. It's about the size, almost the size of a golf, golf ball, and it's hard uh, like wood. So you just work your knife around there in a circle. Give it a turn, and then it's open. See, there's a pit. It's it's big, so there's quite a bit of waste in an avocado. So if you're looking at one and you think, well, wow, one avocado is going to get me really far, keep in mind that there's a large pit on the inside, so it's not all uh, meat on the inside. To get the, the pit out, put your avocado down, stick your knife into it, and give it a twist. Then it'll pop the avocado right out without bruising any of the uh, meat. Then to get it out of the skin, uh, a knife or, or a spoon works perfectly. Just work yourself right around the edge and scoop it right out. No, no waste at all. Simple, uh, and you don't do any bruising or damage to it. So there's our basis, our avocado. I have got some finely diced red onion here, or you could use green onion, uh, whatever type of onion, but a little bit of onion adds some nice flavor to it. Chopped fresh cilantro, a must. I like to have a little bit of uh, finely diced fresh tomato in there. It adds some acidity to it. Uh, helps wake it up a little bit, brighten things up a little bit. And it adds some nice color. You need a little salt in there. Because um, avocados are, are naturally kind of a bland tasting thing. So all these things together are going to really put it, uh, bring out the flavor of it. A little pepper. Um, if you prefer, maybe a little uh, fresh or canned jalapeno in there to add a little heat. I like to have a little bit of heat in there, so we'll add a little bit of jalapeno. And then a good healthy dose of fresh, fresh lime juice, not this stuff out of the jar. Make sure you get a nice fresh lime. Now to finish this, now, as a note, you'll want to make sure you get some nice, ripe avocados. Um, and let's talk about avocado for a second here. Uh, you're going to want to look for a nice, dark, almost black avocado. If it's green on the outside, you don't want it. Um, and if you, if you press on it a little bit, it should give a little bit, but your finger shouldn't right, go like right through it. Um, if, if it goes that deep and that far and that easy, it's probably rotten on the inside. Uh, so it should be firm, but it should definitely give. Um, almost like pressing on this portion of your, of your thumb right here. Um, you want that about, about that kind of consistency. And that's what you want in here. And it should be dark on the outside. Uh, because you will have a terrible time trying to make guacamole with a really underripe avocado. An underripe avocado is going to be really, really hard. So we want something that's going to mash up really nice. So from here, it is simply break them into little pieces.
and just mash it. You can leave some chunks in there. I like to keep it. Le I like to leave it a little hearty looking. Um, that way, I know and, and my guests know that it was made uh, fresh and, and from scratch, not like it came out of a factory. Um, so don't be concerned if there's a little bit of some chunks in there. Now, the thing with av with avocados, once you cut them open they oxidize extremely quickly. That's probably their biggest downfall is, is they will turn brown very rapidly. Um, so if you're going to make avocado, you're going to want to make it right before you're serving it. You're going to probably get at best um, six hours um, before it browns, and that's with, it, with a cover on it. If it's open to the air like this, you're probably going to get maybe four hours before it's starting to turn. It'll, I mean, it won't look terrible, but it'll, you'll start to notice the top will already start to brown a little bit. So best thing you can do with avocados is hey, once you cut them, you're going to want to use them relatively quickly. Um, and besides, it'll taste better, all, especially something like this with guacamole. <clears throat> all these fresh herbs, the fresher the better. So you can see we've got these nice, bright, bright colors to it. It smells awesome. We give it a little taste, make sure we've got enough seasoning in there. That's good. You put it in your serving bowl. And you know, to, in my opinion, guacamole isn't just for chips anymore. You know what I mean? It's a great sandwich spread. Get rid of the mayonnaise and just spread a little uh, guacamole on your sandwich. Awesome. Um, it's got the fat content like mayonnaise does, which helps make your sandwich moist. Um, but it's far better than uh, the fat you're getting in a mayonnaise. So, and it'll add a ton of flavor. Um, this, you know, you could, you could fold some guacamole into some hummus, make a little avocado hummus, something like that. Um, you know, whatever you want to do with it, you can really uh, be creative. So, but there you go. Fresh guacamole. Simple. You'll never want to buy it ever again.